<laughs> so sorry for a moment. Uh, I, I start here. Now, uh, before uh, my presentation, uh, I uh, say that I, I will upload this uh, presentation material to PGCon website, so please don't busy with taking memo for details. And I have been engaged in performance evaluation study. At first, uh, I was uh, studying performance engineering, including evaluation methodology and tools. Then my research shifted to how to identify and uh, resolve uh, scalability bottlenecks. Uh, so, so, to <laughs> please, so, sorry. Uh, my, my presentation. <laughs> Okay, and uh, so my uh, my research shifted to how to identify and resolve scalability bottlenecks uh, in many core systems. As an uh, an extension of this research, DBMS has been included in my research subject. Uh, last year, uh, uh, I proposed a non-volatile memory logging at PGCon twenty. 16. Today's agenda is shown in this slide. Uh, the main topic is C log control log. Uh, table extension issue is also uh, included. So let's start with uh, trend in computer architecture. This figure indicates the trend of uh, processors. As you know, uh, the single core performance is saturated. Uh, as, the, uh, freak, uh, as the frequency is saturated. On the other hand, transistor uh, count is still uh, uh, increasing which re result in the increase in the number of cores. Therefore, we have to benefit from the multi-core CPUs, that is uh, parallel processing. <coughs> I would like to review the utilization of parallelism in DBMS quickly. Uh, two types, oh, I'm sorry, uh, two types uh, of parallelism are utilized. Uh, they differ in the uh, granularity of parallelism. Uh, transaction level uh, parallelism has been utilized for a long time and is suitable for transactions that uh, write in the database. Major point of enhancement for performance improvement is tuning of uh, the bottleneck <coughs> Uh, critical sections. On the other hand, operator, le uh, operator level parallelism is used for uh, read only transactions. Uh, typical uh, example is the introduction of uh, parallel query uh, to PostgreSQL. <coughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, just wait a moment, please. Uh, oh, oh no. Mm. Uh, before entering the main subject of this talk, I will review the critical section. At first, why a critical section is necessary? This slide shows some behavior when two uh, processors try to add one to the same shared variable. <coughs> if critical section is not used, <coughs> uh, shown in the left, the result is sometimes correct, but some sometimes correct, but sometimes wrong. On the other hand, when critical section is used in a correct way, 
<coughs> the result is always correct because the process two in this figure does not read the shared value until process one releases the uh, lock at the end of the critical section. The figure shown in the right illustrates such op uh, contention on a critical section. Uh, if uh, contention occurs in the critical section, any processing does not uh, progress, resulting in the performance degradation. As to servers with small number of cores, such contention is rare. Thus, the impact is small because most of the CPU time is of every processor is utilized for uh, meaningful processing. On the other hand, uh, on servers with a large number of cores, the impact of critical section can be large as shown in this figure, which illustrates an extreme case where most of the CPU time is wasted waiting for the bottleneck critical, critical section. This uh, dotted line yeah. shows the uh, waiting time. In other words, meaningful processing does not progress in this situation as if uh, the clock has stopped. I call such behavior stop the world operation here. To quantitatively, quantitatively uh, estimate the impact of critical section to the performance, there is a famous equation by Amdal, where uh, n is the number of cores. Uh, and b is the ratio of processing times for a critical section to the total processing time. Needless to say, but it is ideal if b equals zero. <clears throat> On the other hand, no gains is expected by parallel processing if b equals 100%. Here is a quiz. Uh, which is better? Uh, this figure shows the parallel and serial processing time for uh, two cases. Uh, case one is uh, total processing time is shorter, but serial processing time is longer than those of uh, case two. What do you think <laughs> about these uh, two cases? Well, for simplicity, uh, the system has only one critical section. The answer is that there is no universal answer. In the region where uh, now, uh, this uh, x-axis is uh, number of cores, and uh, y-axis uh, shows uh, the throughput. Uh, in the region where number of cores is small, total process time is the primary factor. Because, uh, so uh, case one. Uh, delivers uh, better performance. On the other hand, when the number of core is large, the primary factor shifted to uh, serial processing time. So for the software that is uh, expected to run on a server with large number of cores, it is necessary to reduce the serial processing time even if the total process time increases. Uh, this one is better uh, at uh, uh, when number of cores is large. Uh, usually, critical sections are implemented with using a lock mechanism. Uh, PostgreSQL uses lightweight, ro lightweight lock. So I counted on the PostgreSQL website how many articles mention each leader, uh, 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 lightweight rock. 
Uh, I gave the name of each uh, lightweight rock to a search engine and checked the hit count. <coughs> this table shows the result. Most popular ones are well-related uh, uh, li uh, lightweight rocks and uh, serial control rock, uh, which is the major topic of uh, uh, serial control rock uh, is the major topic of this talk. And then uh, uh, I will uh, talk about zero control rock. Zero uh, holds status information for each transaction, <coughs> which is two bits to express uh, one of uh, in progress committed, uh, strictly, uh, strictly say, uh, in, uh, committed and subcommitted and aborted. Uh, this information is uh, used for determining the visibility of the tuple as the value of the tuple becomes visible when the transaction uh, that changes the value is committed. Of course, it is uh, in the case of read committed. As shown in this figure, tra uh, transaction uh, status uh, is changed when uh, processing of uh, corresponding transaction finishes. As the PostgreSQL, every transaction is identified by the 32-bit integer value. Thus, logically speaking, C log is a huge array with uh, 4 gigo of 2-bit uh, status data. A current PostgreSQL deals with uh, C log with a mechanism that is similar to page cache. That is, C log main body is stored in the storage, and the necessary part of the uh, processing is cached in the memory. The size of C log buffer is uh, 8 kilobytes. As the C log buffers are uh, managed with LRU repre rep uh, replacement mechanism, the order in which buffers are placed in memory is random. The number of zero buffer buffers is a parameter that affects the performance. If the buffer count increases, the heat ratio increases, but the buffer search cost increases. Uh, thus, there are trade-offs. Historically, the zero buffer uh, count gradually increased from 8 to uh, 128, as shown in this table. PostgreSQL 9.6 uses, uses uh, 128 C-log buffers as a comment in the uh, source code saying, uh, testing uh, reveal that we can get the best performance by having 128 C-log buffers. More than that, it doesn't improve, improve performance. And this, uh, this article uh, posted to the post, uh, posted to the PostgreSQL's hackers mailing list uh, de describing the role of serial uh, control lock. Serial uh, control lock is necessary to ensure mutual exclusion among uh, operations for serial. These are uh, these are writing the transaction status, checking transaction status and serial page replacement, which occurs when the serial page is not found in serial buffers. This slide shows the basic idea of the serial uh, management uh, proposed in this talk. It is very simple. And the uh, abolition uh, of serial page Abolition of uh, zero page rep replacement. Since the number of transactions is finite, the memory for zero is also finite. The idea is that the status bit for all transactions are stored in the shared memory. This solution is possible if memory is abundant. In this case, both overhead can be eliminated. 
C-log page, uh, C -log page not found event does not occur because all status bits are on the memory. And linear search is no longer necessary because the memory location of a tra uh, transaction directly corresponds to its transaction ID. I call this CLOOK direct mapping from now. Even with this method, only uh, page initialization uh, yeah, remains necessary. In this method, uh, uh, is this method feasible or not? It's up to the memory size necessary for implementing the method. So let's estimate the memory size. Current length of uh, transaction ID is 32 bit, which means that the maximum number of transaction is 4, uh, four giga, <laughs> 4 billion. <laughs> In practice, because of the transaction I, uh, TXID uh, circulation problem, it is enough to take care of two giga transactions. As the status bits for transaction is two, which is a quarter of a byte, the size of the uh, size of status bit for two giga transaction is uh, 512 megabytes. In addition, uh, PostgreSQL maintains uh, group uh, LSN, which consumes uh, another uh, 512 megabytes for two giga transactions. Their total is one gigabytes, meaning that the memory cost is one gigabytes to implement the zero uh, direct mapping mechanism. Here is the second question. Is a one gigabyte of memory large uh, enough to make the solution impossible? The answer depends on uh, when the question is, uh, question is asked. This figure shows the trend uh, of memory capacity. The original figure shows the trend until uh, 2010. And I extend the trend linearly uh, x-axis uh, linearly, x-axis is year. D, uh, these uh, tilted line, tilted orange line, indicates the memory capacity. And this uh, tilted white belt <coughs> shows servers areas. For example, about 10 years ago, Memory size of uh, ordinary servers was around uh, 10 gigabytes, uh, 10 gigabytes. At that time, the answer for the question is yes. Each one gigabyte of memory was uh, large. On the other hand, recent servers have uh, 100 gigabytes or more memory. In this situation, the answer for the question is no. Uh, one gigabyte uh, is less than one percent of memory. Thus, assigning one uh, one gig gigabyte of mem memory to zero is feasible. In other words, uh, Moore saves Amdal. I have built a prototype of zero direct mapping based on possible. SQL 9.6. As shown in this figure, uh, the big uh, remodeling is the change from uh, S -L 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 -U, simple LRU to uh, no LRU. <coughs> that uh, this uh, module provides uh, similar pro uh, provides APIs similar to SLRU. The uh, remaining uh, amount is shown on this slide. Clook.c and Makefile was modified to use uh, no LRU. <coughs> and no LRU.c and no LRU.h was added to the source code tree. <coughs> the source code of the prototype is published through GitHub. 
uh, who, uh, whose address is shown here. I evaluated the performance implement produced by the C-Log uh, direct mapping. The DB server used in the main, uh, measurement was 96 cores and equipped with one terabyte of main memory. Uh, operating system of the DB server and the client machine were Linux, and they were uh, connected using four, uh, four uh, uh, gigabit Ethernet. Uh, the benchmark program used in the measurement was DBT2, which is an uh, open source implementation of GPC, and the version of the PostgreSQL was uh, 9.6.2. Original PostgreSQL and its variation uh, that the serial direct mapping is in, uh, installed are uh, measured in the same condition. The results are shown in this slide. These graphs show the variation of the throughput as a function of the uh, connection count. The graph on the left is a result of using unlocked table, which does not write rag, uh, var. And uh, one of the uh, right is result of using asynchronous commit. <coughs> the improvement is uh, significant when unlocked table was used. On the other hand, when word was little, the improvement was little. These uh, results imply that as long as PostgreSQL executes CPC type transaction, the impact of the word overhead is large. And when word uh, overhead is mitigated, C log related overhead becomes significant. There is uh, an issue on how to implement the C-Log direct mapping. The proper type always use uh, C-Log direct mapping. As I mentioned, uh, it is true that the impact of using one gigabyte of memory for C-Log becomes small. But there are systems that work with small uh, memory. For small memory systems, it is necessary to be able to switch uh, the serial mechanism by specifying a parameter in the configuration file as shown in this figure. Next, uh, table extension issues. <coughs> Next topic is another uh, type of bottlenecks in which uh, count, uh, countermeasure uh, differs uh, from the previous one It's, uh, its concrete example is a uh, lock used in the table extension. The lock is uh, for, uh, for, for ensuring only one worker process carries out table extension. This timing chart shows an example <laughs> behavior when table ex ex uh, extension occurs. At first, this worker process one <coughs> Came in, uh, come into a situation where free area in the table is not enough. Then it executes uh, a procedure to expand, extend the table with holding the corresponding block. <coughs> in this situation, uh, other process that also needs uh, free space in the table have to wait until this table expansion uh, uh, expansion procedure finishes. This case, uh, this case, look like uh, lock contentions. However, I think that the root cause of this contention is due to the uh, strategy that uh, table extension is carried out after free uh, space is exhausted. As a countermeasure for this lock contention, I have implemented a busy uh, worker that peri periodically watch the uh, specific table. And when its free space becomes small, the PG, uh, PG uh, background worker extends the table. I call this uh, prepare in advanced strategy. 
By doing so, workflow process gets uh, get less encounter with uh, the free SPS shortage situation, which mitigates the rock contention discussed here. Because the rock will be uh, uh, because the rock will be acquired only uh, the by the BG worker. A prototype for this idea has been uh, implement, implemented and measured the degree of the performance improvement. The uh, experimental setup was the same as, the, uh, as that used in the uh, evaluation of C log direct mapping. Obtained results shown in this graph indicate that performance was improved by uh, this uh, prepare in advanced strategy, but a little. The improvement was not as expected. As the reason why performance was not uh, significantly improved, a possible assumption is that the BG worker is uh, badly in harmony with the ex existing mechanism, more specifically, auto vacuum. In spite of the <coughs> lack of obvious evidence, it is quite uh, dubious. Quanti uh, quality qualitatively speaking, the BG worker tries to keep the free space in the table. While uh, auto vacuum tries to shrink the table when uh, there, is a, there is free space in the table. This figure illustrates these uh, conflicting operations. The prepare in advanced strategy can also be applied <laughs> elsewhere. One example is the process of uh, uh, assigning a new transaction ID. This figure shows that uh, initialization of serial page, committee page, and subtransaction page are carried out with acquiring the XID gen lock. Due to this structure, the execution <coughs> time of the critical section enforced by the uh, XID gen lock can be large, uh, which uh, contributes to uh, increasing the uh, contention. And this section uh, reviews some uh, enhancement of postural skill to improve many core performance. This graph illustrates the degree of uh, the rock contention occurred in postural skill and was uh, and was included in uh, the 1914 uh, report of Japanese postural skill enterprise consortium. Uh, this report is in Japanese. Uh, sorry. <laughs> The graph uh, shows the number of rocks, uh, rock uh, contentions per transaction for each rock, where benchmark program is PG bench. From this figure, the most uh, conflict conflicting rock is that uh, related to uh, war. The next one are uh, serial control rock and uh, proc array rock. Among them, uh, war right rock is not a true uh, rock conflict, so it is indicated by a dotted line. As to en enhancements for postal scale so far, while zero and proc array have been the objects of enhancement so far, as shown in this slide. Roughly speaking, the major source of the rock contention in postal scale are still war, zero, and proc array. Uh, for instance, I would like to show this graph included in the uh, 1916 report of Japanese uh, Postal Scale en Enterprise Consortium, which illustrates the effect of the uh, countermeasure for the procurement lock contention introduced in uh, Postal Scale 9.6. Uh, oh. This one? <laughs> As can be seen in this figure, while throughput of postal scale 9.5 uh, saturate, 
at a point in the number of uh, clients. That postulate Q, SQL Q 9.6 increase, increases without saturation. And uh, I would like to finish this talk with concluding remarks shown in this note. One, uh, ex exploiting parallelism becomes more and more important <coughs> due to uh, spread use of many core processors. And uh, it becomes feasible to place zero of all transactions in main memory. Uh, it contributes to the de decrease in the contention on zero control lock, resulting in CPU sc scalability improvement. Uh, prepare in advanced strategy is possible <coughs> countermeasure for bottlenecks arising in uh, extending uh, uh, relation, uh, zero uh, and uh, committee uh, subtransaction uh, page, uh, et cetera. Uh, but it is necessary to adapt existing systems so that a new mechanism can work uh, efficiently. Uh, and it is also necessary to study uh, about its uh, effect further. Uh, thank you for listening. <laughs> Any questions? <coughs> ah. Pardon? Direct mapping? Instead of doing the direct mapping, uh. we, in the Postgre SQL community, uh. we have also tried to develop some of the patches, uh, yeah. which I, I get committed till now. Uh. I wanted to just check with you. We have also seen almost similar performance characteristics as you have seen. Oh, okay. uh, un on unlock table, it gives very high performance, and on mm. the lock table, it gives some little performance. Uh. So I wanted to check with you, have you by any chance Okay. <laughs> I, 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 can, can I talk later? <laughs> okay. okay.